Okay, let's get your pins in front of people who can't wait to buy them. <laughs> you have been working on your pins, you've been setting up your shop, and now I'm gonna show you exactly where to be to increase your reach and to get your stuff in front of excited customers. But before we do that, <laughs> go ahead and hit that bell so you can be notified. Uh, subscribe, I do videos every Friday. So do all that and then come back and then I'm gonna show you exactly where you need to be to sell your pins. Okay, so you're ready to start marketing your pins, but you're not quite sure where to start except for Instagram. I'm gonna get to more Instagram tips in a second, uh, but there is more to marketing than just that one app. So by the end of this video, I am going to show you exactly where you need to be and exactly what you need to do to get seen on multiple platforms and increase your reach to sell your pins. Okay, so the first step is Instagram, duh. I've talked about this before. I have a whole webinar that you can watch all about tips to grow your following on Instagram. But the biggest thing I want you to know about in this particular video about marketing on Instagram is to figure out what is working for you. So this is different for everybody. Everyone's audience is different. What they respond to is different. So I want you to go into your analytics and I want you to look at the things that are giving you the most engagement. And I want you to look at the things that are giving you the most likes and the really important ones are the click-throughs so um those are the ones that people are looking at and they're clicking through your profile and they're going to your shop so figure out what those are along with followers you want to see the stuff that brings in more followers but once you get those followers there you want to see what they're engaging with and you want to see what is converting them and is making them click over into your shop so when you see and organize those things and you can see the pins and the photos that um, people are most likely to click over to your website, you can duplicate those kind of photos. You can share those same photos again. Don't do it like super soon, but you can absolutely reuse photos every few months. And you can duplicate the kind of subject matter that's in those photos and the type of caption that you use. And you can use that to your advantage because you know it's already working. Okay, so let's talk about Pinterest for a second. This is a platform that I have been experimenting with and I've been really excited with the results of it. Pinterest is basically just a search engine and there are entire courses you could go into <laughs> with how to use Pinterest for your business. But for, again, the purposes of this video, we're going to take a higher level look. So Pinterest is a search engine. So that means you can put a pin up and then it's there. So if people are looking for it, um, if people are looking for certain things, if you've got keywords, if people are responding to photos that are similar to yours, Pinterest is going to show them. They've got their own algorithm too. So you can utilize Pinterest for your shop by uh, creating a board for just your shop. So you can have all of your own products in there. You could have a board for your Instagram. You can cross promote on both of those. You can repin pins from each one. You can have boards that are themed. So I have one that's like super cute pins, um, cat pins, and I've gone kind of granular with the types of boards that I have around pins. And so in those boards, you can pin other people's stuff, which is awesome because you're supporting the community and you're showing your followers and just people scrolling through Pinterest, really awesome, fun stuff that also works with your own aesthetic and you can put your own stuff in there too. So I think it's really, really fun. It takes kind of minimal effort to get used to it. Of course, there are people, it's their whole job. Uh, a lot of people go really hard into Pinterest, but for our purposes, <laughs> I think it's good if you want to just dip your toe in a little bit, see how it goes. Um, make just a handful of boards and pin stuff and just kind of watch. I've, I haven't even really touched mine in a couple of months and my views, my monthly views keep growing, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. So I would definitely recommend um, taking some time once a week, every couple of weeks and just go through, pin some stuff that's been on your Instagram, pin some stuff that's in your shop and just kind of get the pins flowing on Pinterest and then see your, um, just kind of see your counts go up. I think Pinterest is about the fourth or fifth uh, refer to my site. So I definitely get sales from Pinterest. So uh, it's definitely not as much as Instagram or direct traffic, but why not take advantage of it if it just takes a couple minutes um, every few weeks to kind of dip your toe in and try it out. So definitely recommend being on Pinterest for that reason. <laughs> 
Okay, are you kind of excited to try Pinterest now? Like, I was on the fence about it, but once I started doing it, I got really excited about it. Ooh. So let me know in the comments if you are either on Pinterest already and are like, duh, of course you should be on there and put your pins on there. Or if you're not on Pinterest yet and you're like, yes, give me this. So tell me down below what you think. <laughs> okay, this is a big one, email lists. So I talk about this a bit in my webinar too. Again, linked below, all that jazz but email lists are so important. The thing about social media is that we don't own that platform at all. So Instagram could decide that it doesn't want to post photos anymore. And then what do we do? You know? Um, so the thing about email lists is you, you own that list. These are people that have told you directly that they want to be on your email list. They want to hear from you. They want to get your content. So, it's really important to take care of these people. So what I like to do is I try really hard to email my people once a week with just some little notes. I try to send them coupons every now and then that are just for email subscribers so they have a reason <laughs> to be there. Um, and that is kind of the biggest thing that gets people on email lists. So if you're not quite sure what to do for an opt-in, I like to offer a discount code for people who, um, who sign up for my list and uh, just treat them well. Like these are your people, these are your biggest supporters. I know when I send an email out to my subscribers that I'll get sales. Like these are the people that support me more than anyone else and they're the ones that wanna jump on any kind of specials or promotions or new products that I've got going on. Like these are my people and I love them, so take care of them. And if you're worried about emailing people um, and you haven't done it in a while, just do it. It doesn't matter. If they unsubscribe, they unsubscribe. It's fine. <laughs> uh, they wouldn't have bought anything anyway, so who cares? So I, I definitely recommend having an email list. Uh, you can start by doing MailChimp. That's what I started out using. And uh, they're really great. They're super easy to use. You can integrate them uh, in pretty much any selling platform at all. It's really important. <laughs> start your email list. Start it now. <laughs> okay, this last one is a little different. I think you should always market yourself in person too. So have business cards. I'm terrible at always having business cards, uh, but I do have special logo pins that I send out in orders, you know, over a certain amount you get a free logo pin. So I keep those with me at all times and they've got my, the name of my shop on the back of the pin. And if anyone comments, and this has been huge since I've gotten my Eda bags, but people always comment on my bags because it's still um, a pretty new thing and people are super into pins. And when they see someone with a pin collection, they're like, I understand you, you know? And uh, whenever anyone reaches out to me or taps me on the shoulder and is like, I love your bag, that's awesome. Then first thing I do is say, thanks, I made it, <laughs> which is like the best feeling in the world. But it's also really cool when you can hand them a free pin and be like, here, my shop is on the back of this and um, definitely check it out. I was in Target the other day and this gentleman comes up and is like, can I take a picture of your bag for my daughter? She really likes pins. And I was like, sure. And then we ended up chatting. I gave him a pin from off of my bag and then he, um, he ended up coming to Flare Fest that weekend and they hung out and supported all the other artists there. So you can't, you can't underestimate in-person stuff. So it's the same when you're at shows, always have your business cards. I don't know, it's just been really fun talking to people uh, about my shop and explaining what I do and having my Eda bag there with my pins is a really great way to like help people understand. Cause a lot of times you say, I make enamel pins and they're like, <laughs> uh, but if you have a physical thing to show them, uh, then it really helps. So I think it just helps build a deeper connection with just other human beings and with your local community, which is really great. And yeah, I don't know. I just think having that physical pin, uh, the one I have is really small. It doesn't have to be super expensive. Uh, but I think having the pin is just this kind of extra over the edge when you give someone a free pin because they get really excited about it. So I don't think there's anything wrong with tooting your own horn uh, in person with actual human beings too. <laughs> okay, so we talked about Instagram. So I want you to go into your analytics and I want you to take a look and see which posts are giving you the most clicks and the most engagement. 
Uh, these are really important so you can duplicate that kind of thing for later. I want you to take a look at Pinterest and if you've already got one set up, awesome. Let's be friends on Pinterest. <laughs> um, and if you don't, take a look around, explore. You can look at my profile just to see an example of what someone's doing with pins on that site. So take a look and dip your toe in. I think it'll be really good. Uh, for email lists, if you don't have an email list, get one. Um, and if you haven't emailed your people in a while, do it. <laughs> And then, and then don't be shy when you're in person with someone, give them a business card, explain what you do, be excited about it and be confident in your work because you're awesome and you own your own business. And of course you should holler about that. Okay. So do you feel good about those options? It's not too much. Um, it's totally doable. And I actually go into more depth, as I said before, in my webinar, uh, the five ways to grow your following fast on Instagram. I talk more in depth about email lists on there too. Uh, this is my go-to webinar. It's full of tons of free content. Go watch it already. It's really important. It's a great webinar full of so much stuff that you can uh, really put into action immediately to start growing your following. So do it. Go check it out. <laughs> if you like this video, go ahead and take a screenshot <laughs> and uh, share it on, on Instagram, on your stories. Let me know what's helped you like this video, subscribe, tell your friends, all of that good stuff. <laughs> and, um, and give me a party horn. Toot toot. <laughs> worst. Give me a party horn emoji in the comments below. If this has been helpful, let me know what you think. I would love to talk about it. I love talking about social media and marketing and all that stuff. So let me know. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next video.